Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to model equipment nozzle. So there are mainly two methods. First method is very simple. Just go to the equipment nozzle position with pipe element and add an anchor. So I am putting an anchor. Here the node is 170 and anchor. And you can check the uh, forces and moments at that point with the allowable uh, values given from the pump vendor or any other equipment vendor and now if you know that this thermal displacement at that point so double click on the displacement and uh, put that thermal displacement here I am just putting in a dx and dz value 0.2 and remember and other values uh, should be zero to lock the position and I am here putting the values and a better practice is always uh, to uh, add a connecting node and then put the displacement at that connecting node so I am showing you how to do that so just deselect the displacement here and putting the connecting node the node number is 170 so let's add a restraint and the connecting node is 171 and here the connecting node means this connecting node here 171 is fixed with respect to the 170 and i am putting the displacement at the node 171 so here uh, let's use the previous values okay the first method is complete this is the most simplest method and now if you don't know the thermal displacement or you have to go all the way to the uh, equipment fixed point which was given in the pump GA or any other equipment GA so let us do that okay now let delete this displacement and here we have to model the flanges and the allow and the forces and moments will be calculated at the this counter flange so let's just model a flange you can go through my previous videos where you learn how to model the flange and the other ones uh, sorry it's not correct it should be at the end position okay to end okay mm, what's just happening okay let's try again okay okay now now here we have to put the uh, anchor to uh, cal compare the loads okay this is restraint 171 uh, here i am using that connecting node concept again 171 and anchor and our model will continue uh, from the node 171 and this is uh, and the beyond the 171 the model should be using a rigid element and uh, to be specific weightless rigid element it should not offer any weight we just model it to anticipate the thermal movement of that nozzle so this is the uh, equipment nozzle and just model the rigid element i am here assuming some arbitrary length you can find the accurate length from the pump gear okay or your constant equipment here and let us just continue from here and model the rigid element i am here like putting uh, dx 1500 and then double click on the rigid and remember don't put any weight and then another is like dy which is 250 and we assume that is the equipment fixed point and you have to put here and anchor okay now our model is complete you can show how to model the equipment nozzle for any static or rotary equipments and in my next video i will teach you how to provide the nozzle flexibility okay so please support our channel by like and subscribe